And that in itself speaks very loudly. You know, with a relationship with Christ, obviously, like I said, you have to meet Him, but you have to begin to start a relationship with Him so the peace of God will rule in your heart. And obviously, this takes time, this takes practice, it takes work. And it does take work to have a relationship, just like it does with anybody. Any kind of relationship, whether it's friendship or family relationship or marriage, takes work to stay in that relationship. And in the second verse, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom. Dwell means to abide as a permanent resident, to live in a place. And obviously that's just the normal definition out of the dictionary, but the word of God, or the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Let the word of Christ dwell in you, dwell in you richly in all wisdom. To have a relationship with Christ, you're going to have to know what he says. And obviously, he's not talking to us audibly at times. The Holy Spirit does. But you're going to have to get in his word. You're going to have to read. You're going to have to study. You're going to have to meditate. And my point is, is that if you want your children to know God, then you have to know him. If you want your children to love God, then you have to love him. If you want your children to serve him, then you have to serve him. Bring your children to a place so they can have that opportunity, so they can have that choice. They're given that choice. I mean, over in Africa, we were there for a couple months, and you just see families torn apart. These kids, it's not that they wouldn't choose Christ. They didn't know they had a choice. They didn't know they had an opportunity to serve Him. They didn't know that there was an opportunity that they could be saved. And what a great privilege we have. And I know that in America today, there's, there's lots of children that don't have that opportunity. There's lots of families, lots of people that don't. But here in this room, and Rachel, you've been given that opportunity. Whether or not, you know, Mother, I didn't do a great job or didn't do the things she wanted to do. <laughs> she brought you to a place. <laughs> at it. Um, she brought you to a place where you had the opportunity. You had the choice to know God. And to know that He loves you. Whether or not what you did with that is up to you. It had nothing to do with anybody else but you. And you're going to be accountable for what you do. And this looks like encouraging. <laughs> but just like she brought you to that place, it wasn't too hard. And I know at times it was hard. And it's not that it was worth it that she brought us to church, even when she was alone, that she could have just said this was too hard. And this was too much. And I can't handle this. You know, taking care of four little kids and bringing us to church. But she thought it was important enough to give us that opportunity. To let us know. To give us a chance to know him. And obviously your children have a choice. And, and I'm sure you know if any of you have children that are halfway grown. or And my mom, she's got grown children. You know that you can't make them do things. You can't make them serve the Lord. And they do their own things. They make mistakes. They sin. They're human. But you can do, what you can do is bring them, bring them to a place to know God. And if that can be an encouragement to you, I mean, <laughs> I, I know that I wouldn't be here, not so that I'm anywhere special, but I know that I wouldn't know God. I wouldn't have even gotten the opportunity if it wasn't for my mother. And if she didn't think it was important enough to bring us there and to teach us that. And maybe she didn't teach us everything we should have known, but she brought us the people that could. She brought us to church and people that could teach us things. And she kept us around people that, that would help to <coughs> admonish us. And the word, this wasn't really going to say it, but admonish means to warn or notify the fault. I always thought admonish was kind of more encouraging and, and just, you know, which it, it can be. You can be an encouragement, but more just kind of light. But the dictionary has a pretty, pretty stern um, meaning of it. To warn or notify the fault. To reprove with mildness, to counsel against wrong practices, to caution or advise, to instruct or direct, to remind, to recall, or incite to duty. And that's your job. Although you have to be mild and you have to be, well, sometimes some parents are so mild, <laughs> you have to, it's not just about encouraging, but at the same time, guiding, you know, just bringing them to a place. And that is your opportunity. And it's a wonderful opportunity that you, you get to have that responsibility. You get to make those decisions for your children. I mean, to bring them somewhere where they can know God. And what an awesome responsibility is, that is, that God has given us. And I hope that you won't take it lightly. I hope that 
we all won't take that lightly. And I know a lot of us have children that are already grown or children that are growing and children that haven't grown yet. <laughs> but um, just if you'll remember, that is your responsibility and your honor. And if you just keep in mind that if you don't know the way, they can't go in the way. So realize the heaviness that lays on you, if not for anything else, than for your children. Give them that opportunity that somebody gave you. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, let's